As the wrestling season comes to a close, state champion shall be named tonight. Three local grapplers, all with the opportunity to be named the best in their weight class. Wapkineta's Landon Hall is competing for a state title in the 220-pound weight class, trying to end his senior season on the right foot. First period, Hall scores with a takedown, but don't look away because moments later, he rolls his opponent into a three-point near fall. The Wapak senior takes an early 5-0 lead. Then in the second period, he caps off his scoring with an escape. Hall rides out his lead en route to a state title. He wins the match 6-4, becoming the third state champion in Wapak's history. It feels great. Uh, I have never would have uh, dreamed that this would happen, but it's like a dream come true. And uh, that's what I wanted to do was go out with the bang and win my last uh, high school career match. And uh, it was awesome. I won the state title. Next up in Division II's 138-pound finals match, Defiance's Timothy Gage Grundon is hunting for a state title. But at the end of the second period, he's down 8 nothing. Grundon gets the escape to get on the board, but the Bulldog falls to Graham Local's J.D. Stickley 8-1. This is Grundon's best finish of his high school career so far. St. John senior Brett Vonderwell has quite a challenge in front of him in the Division III 170-pound state final. The Blue Jay faces Mechanicsburg's three-time state champ and future Ohio State wrestler Caleb Romero. First period, Romero with the takedown. Vonderwell for the first score of the match. Then at the 52 second mark, the future Buckeye sticks the Blue Jay for the state title. Vonderwell finishes his high school career a state runner up. I mean, what else can you do? Uh, try to attack and see what you can get in. Nothing worked this time, just like last time. So, there's not much else you can ask for. I mean, going freshman year and didn't even make it to districts. And then next three years in a row, made it to state. And that's pretty good. As for your third, fifth, and seventh place matches in Division II, Defiance's Danny Asaf wins the seventh place match in the 126 pound weight class. Wapkineta senior Jaden Hefner claims fifth place at 132. Trey Terry from Bath caps his senior season with a sixth place finish at 170 pounds. Robbie Bowers of Defiance takes fourth place in the 182 pound class. And Noah Meeker from Elida finishes eighth in the heavyweight division. Division III, 126 pounds. Rugen Giltzenleiter from Wayne Trace finishes sixth. Skylar Caprella wins the fifth place match at Sudden Victory at 132 for Allen East. Adis Chase Sumner finishes eighth in the 138 pound class. For sales senior Jerome Bay wins the seventh place match at 182 pounds. Ottawa Glandorf Daniel Beamer takes fourth at 195. And Kent Peterson from Patrick Henry finishes sixth in the 220 pound weight class. Staying in Columbus, Wapkineta looking for a state title in Division I, championship semis. Baker Games, three spot, Dusty Haggard. My father told me patience is a virtue. And watch this late pin drop for a big Wapak strike. They celebrate. Next man up is Tyler Miller. He follows Haggard with a strike of his own. The Redskins keep putting X's on the scorecard. Trenton Cooper, the two-handed approach, knocking down all 10 in the sixth. Wapak feeling good so far. And then we go into the 10th frame. The anchor, Brendan Kennard, comes up big. They register eight consecutive strikes in the first game of the semis. Go ahead and flex on them. The Redskins finish the day as state runners up, falling to Westerville Central in the finals. To the hardwood, Elida is looking for their first district championship since 2012. First quarter, Trey Harris knocks down the three ball. Elida with an early 14-9 lead. And then Daniel Unruh kicks out to Isaac McAdams. Behind the arc, another Trey tickles twine. Dogs up five again. To the second quarter, Unruh attacks the rack. Watch him. Plus the foul. He leads the Bulldogs with 17 points today. They're up four. One minute later, Unruh again spotting Skylar Smith, waiting to drain a triple try of his own. It's 23-16 Elida. And now it's Drew Sarno's turn to fire away. Another Bulldog three ball falls. They're up 28 to 18. Then late in the half, Sarno gives to Dante Johnson, who also dials long distance. Elida takes an 11 point lead into the break. Third quarter, uppers back within six until Balin Stinson buries the tray. The senior scores 14. It's 35 26 Elida. That leads back down to four now. Sarno to Unruh in the corner. The junior guard pads the Bulldog advantage back to seven. Then Peyton Smith passes out of a double team ahead to Stinson for the layup and the foul. Elida leads 45 to 30. 35. Upper rallies to take a one point lead in the fourth, but here's Sarno who made three of the Bulldogs' 10 triples today. Dogs back out in front and they never look back. Elida survive a Rams rally and wins the district title 58 to 53. There was a, pa a little panicky uh, stretch right there. Uh, that during the one time out, I looked at all of them and I said, guys, everyone has an inner calm. You got to go find it. Coach had a plan and we came here and we executed it. And 
I think the number one thing for us was we weren't afraid to attack them, and being aggressive really helped us get the game. Heck of a team, mad respect for them. They could shoot the ball, but I think we came out with more heart and we got the dub. Couldn't be more happy. Elida will face Parma Heights Holy Name in the regional semis Thursday at 8 at the University of Toledo. Heading into Division 3, Wayne Trace battling it out with Marion Local. Late first quarter, Brady Stabler heading inside. He gets one with two seconds to go. Raiders close the quarter on a 9-0 run. Into the second, Finley commit Ethan Linder heading right to the rack. He drops 33 tonight. Raiders up 29-26, to but here comes Marion. Matt Rethman has the green light. The sophomore flyer puts Marion ahead by one. It's a barn burner all night long. Ruthman to Kyle Koenig, good from the elbow. Marion wins 66 to 65. They will play Edison at Bowling Green Wednesday at 6:15. Van Buren facing perennial power Archbold after being down by 15 at the half. Braxton Fasona of Van Buren gets the and one to fall, brings his team within four points. However, Archbold's Eli Miller finds a wide open Regal Ramos for the corner three to put the game out of reach. Archbold wins 69 to 60. Girls Hoops for sales playing for a trip to state. They also have the tall task of facing an undefeated top seeded team in Cincinnati Summit Country Day. Second quarter, Ellen Peters to Brenna Blakely. The triple try is true for sales up 26 to 11. Tigers putting it on early and often. Blakely zipping one to Claire Schmidtmeyer off the glass and in. Tigers ahead by 16. Very next possession, Cami McEldowney calmly taking the ball up court and firing from downtown. For sales leads 31 to 12 at the break. Into the third, Tigers going inside Camille Warren to Danielle winner the six foot two junior with a great move inside it's 33 to 14 and for sales never lets up Ellen Peters puts up a shot in traffic winner using her size to clean everything up the hoop and the harm Tigers win 50 to 33 knocking off the number one ranked team in the state for sales will play Sardinia Eastern in the state semis on Friday at three in Columbus. Division four at Vandalia Butler Jackson Center trying to defend their regional title against Minster. Second quarter Vanessa winner makes the second of back to back threes from the same spot. The senior stakes the Tigers to a 10 4 lead. Then winner dishes to Christian Ware in close Jackson Center builds an eight point advantage. Back comes Minster. Damaris Wolf pushes the pace up to Allie Borgerding who fires from three Lady Cats back within four and then Rosie West Rebecca goes to work in the post. The senior ties the game at 12 all, but in the third, Cassie Meyer attacks the rack for Jackson Center, and the Tigers win 39 to 35. Jackson Center will face Waterford Thursday at 6 in the Schottenstein Center. Over at the Fieldhouse, Andy Lida Ottaville seeking a Final Four berth against Old Fort. Second quarter, Amber Miller is hiding in the corner. She knocks one down. Ottaville ahead 27 to 15. Now Casey Nippen adds on to the big green lead. Ottaville up by 10 at the half. We go into the third. Alexis Thorbon sees a cutting. Alicia Honingford, big green ahead 31 to 21. And Ottaville will be going to state as well. Ohio State commit Brooke Mangus knocks down the long two. Ottaville wins 59 to 42. They will face number one ranked Highland in the state semis Thursday at 8. We need to take a break here on your news now sports, but when we come back, we experience some of that March madness right after this quick timeout. Welcome back. Division three track and field nationals finished today. Ohio Northern junior Emily Richard becomes the first double national champion in program history, winning both the one mile and 800 meter runs today. The Lady Bears finished fifth overall, their best record and their best finish, excuse me, in school history. Fellow junior Matt Molinaro ran a personal best in the men's 800 and finished second. To ONU, the undefeated fifth ranked Polar Bears are at home against Christopher Newport, hosting an elite eight game. First quarter on a move. Excuse me, Amanuna Campbell hits a cutting Amy Bullmore for the layup. Polar Bears lead 8 to 3. Moments later, Lindsey Black driving to the hoop. Own you ahead 11 to 8. Trying to defend the den. Abby Weeks gets the steal. She goes coast to coast and butters the toast. But Christopher Newport gets the win tonight. Own you falls 76 to 66. Men's D2 tournament. Finley against Southern Indiana. Tyler Stern Tucker running the give and go with Fort Recovery grad Elijah Colleague. The big layup puts the Oilers ahead by one. Six seconds to go. The screen. Eagles have a chance, but the shot comes up short. Finley moves on, winning 70 to 69. Bathgrad Taryn Solvin drops 24 points and 14 rebounds. He also scores his 1,000th career point in the win. Finley will meet Gleak Champ Fair State.
they, who they beat on the road in December tomorrow at 5 in Louisville. Division 1, after pulling off the upset on my alma mater yesterday, Michigan is ready to take on Minnesota. Close game in the second half, Lima senior grad Xavier Simpson dashing past the 6'10 senior and making the layup. Two points, one rebound for the freshman. Michigan goes on to win. They will face Wisconsin for the Big Ten final championship tomorrow. All right, thank you, and stay tuned. We'll be right back after this.